Welcome to Clinician's Notebook by Doc Athena. This is a Contravet's Technical Diary to anyone for free. What is Pyometra? Now let's proceed to case presentation. Pyometra is the inflammation of the uterus aggravated by secondary bacterial infection leading to accumulation of pus in the uterine lumen. Today, we will discuss case number 001, Pyometra in dogs. What is Pyometra? Pyometra is the inflammation of the uterus aggravated by secondary bacterial infection leading to accumulation of pus in the uterine lumen. This is a hormonally mediated disease characterized by CEH or cystic endometrial hyperplasia. So there are two types of pyometra. It could be open pyometra or closed pyometra. What are the factors that affect pyometra? One is diestrus. Diestrus is the period after the estrus in the estruous cycle. And during this time, the female is not receptive to males. Also, during this time, there is a stimulation of the endometrial glands leading to hyperplasia and hypersecretion. So if the endometrial glands are active and there's increased production, this leads to cystic endometrial hyperplasia or CEA. Another factor that affects pyometra is the hormone progesterone. So what does progesterone do? Progesterone decreases the myometrial activity but increases the endometrial growth and glandular secretion. So these secretions just accumulate inside the uterine lumen. This accumulation is very favorable for bacterial growth. Another hormone that is not directly related or does not cause pyometra but it causes uterine activity is estrogen. What are the clinical signs of pyometra? Depression and lethargy, anorexia, vomiting because of the ongoing infection, also, there's polyuria and polydipsia, so the animal has increased drinking and urinating behavior, and also there is abdominal distension. So I mentioned about the two types of pyometra. It could be closed or open. When you say closed pyometra, there is no vaginal discharge and there is uterine enlargement, therefore causing abdominal distension. As compared to open type pyometra, there is a mucopurulent to sanguineous vaginal discharge. For diagnosis, we can do lab tests, CBC, blood cam, and the results usually indicate that there is an ongoing inflammation due to leukocytosis or increased number of the white blood cells. Also, we could do radiography and what we will usually see there, enlarged tubular structure. That is, of course, the enlarged uterus that is sometimes full of pus. Also, we have to compare that with a gravid uterus. So, be careful with your records as well and know the history of your pets if they were bred. So, you would know what to expect or when to expect their pregnancy versus case of pyometra. Of course, other diagnostic tests that we could do is ultrasonography and vaginoscopy. What are the differential diagnoses in cases of pyometra? Well, of course, I already mentioned pregnancy or other hormonally related diseases such as DM or diabetes mellitus and hyperadrenocortis system. Another is primary renal disease. And of course, we could also include other reproductive problems such as severe vaginal discharge. Now let's proceed to treatment. Treating pyometra has two possible options. It could be a surgical treatment or a medical treatment. For surgical treatment, the treatment of choice is ovariohysterectomy. So this is a surgical procedure wherein we remove the uterus and 
of course, the ovaries. Upon diagnosis of pyometra, we cannot just immediately proceed with the surgical procedure of hysterectomy. Just like any other surgical procedures, we have to conduct pre-op tests because that would tell us if the patient is fit for surgical operations or surgical procedures. So if there are sepsis or if there's acid-base imbalance or any abnormality with the patient, we have to correct that first before we proceed with the surgical treatment. We usually give IV fluids or broad spectrum bactericidal antibiotics just to make sure that the abnormality is corrected first and the patient is fit for surgical procedure. If we could collect uterine contents during the surgery, we could culture that and subject it to antibiotic sensitivity testing or AST for us to come up with a more specific treatment against the bacteria. The most common isolate is E. coli. However, Staphylococcus, Streptococcus, Pseudomonas, and Proteus are also reported. Now let's proceed to the medical treatment. If the surgical treatment of choice is a varihysterectomy, there's also another option which is the medical treatment, the hormone prostaglandin F2-alpha. However, this drug is facing some issues with animal welfare concerns because of its side effects. So this drug actually causes luteolysis and contraction of the myometrium as well as relaxation of the cervix. And when this happens, it promotes expulsion of uterine contents. So be very mindful that if you use this drug, make sure that the patient is not pregnant. Otherwise, we would be inducing abortion. For symptomatic treatment, we could give NSAIDs or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug to provide symptomatic relief to perioperative pain and also for prevention of inflammation. For supportive care, we could give also multivitamins and supplements. This is to make sure that the patient would get back in track the soonest. So that's it for our simple discussion about Pyometra. Now let's proceed to case presentation. for our clinical discussion from Clinician's Notebook by Doc Athena. I hope to see you again in our next lecture. For those who have not subscribed yet in our YouTube channel, please do so. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment below. Or if you want a private conversation, you can send us a message to Doc Athena Facebook page. Please keep safe everyone. God bless us all. Bye!